The eczema laser has dominated the discourse on corneal refractive surgery since the early 1990s. Many variations of the eczema laser procedure are possible. All of these have some disadvantages and advantages. The most popular procedure in both ophthalmic and patient population is femtolasic. Femtolasic provides a high safety profile and is combined with the high predictability of the eczema laser. However, femtolasic requires two lasers. Patients need to be moved from one laser to another. A 300 degree side cut incision is necessary, which sometimes leads to dry eyes. There is a risk that the flap can displace immediately or later. Since 2006, a new procedure called RELAX has been taking shape. It uses only the femtosecond laser to complete the entire refractive procedure. It was pioneered by Walter Secunder and Marcus Bloom along with Carl Zeiss Meditech. Today, more than 50 centers worldwide have adopted this procedure. Our center started this procedure in 2008 and so far we have treated more than 2,000 eyes. In one variation of the procedure, a lenticule is carved out within the corneal stroma with a femtosecond laser. And the lenticule is extracted through a small incision, only 3 to 5 millimeter wide. This procedure is known as Relax Smile. Only the Visumax femtosecond laser from Carl Zeiss Meditech can perform this procedure. The Visumax laser has several features which are essential to make accurate intrastromal cuts with minimum tissue distortion. The procedures involve the creation of four tissue disruption planes on the cornea. The first tissue disruption plane separates the posterior part of the lenticule from the underlying corneal stroma. The second cut involves a 360 degree side cut incision which defines the edge of the lenticule. The third tissue disruption plane involves the separation of the anterior part of the lenticule from the overlying cornea. The fourth cut involves a small 3 to 5 mm side cut incision on the cornea. A thin spatula is then used through the side cut incision to first separate the anterior surface of the lenticule from the overlying stroma. It is then used to locate and separate the posterior surface of the lenticule from the underlying stroma. Once both surfaces are free, a special grasping forceps known as the Shah Smile Forceps is used to grasp the lenticule and slide it out of the small incision. Relax smile does not involve lifting a corneal flap. The incision heals in a few hours. Visual recovery is similar to that after femtolasic. The results of the relax procedure are comparable to or better than the results of femtolasic in our center. In our last 500 eyes at six months, not a single eye lost even one line of vision, while 24% gained one line and 8% gained two lines of best corrected visual acuity. 
the results show remarkable stability even in the treatment of high myopia. There is high predictability regardless of the refractive error being corrected. Relax Smile offers several advantages over Femtolasic. It needs only one machine, saving the cost of acquiring and paying for the consumables and service of two expensive lasers. It saves significant time with the entire treatment completed in a single step. It spares the maximum corneal nerves because of the very small incision. There is a smaller healing phase because of the small incision. There is no flap, so there is no risk of a flap displacement even while engaging in extreme activities. There is better preservation of the corneal architecture. Patients love the possibility of LASIK-like visual recovery without the need for a corneal flap. And the results of the procedure are comparable to or better than LASIK. In our practice, Relax Smile is now offered routinely as a premium refractive surgery procedure for the treatment of low, medium and high myopia with or without astigmatism. We soon hope to offer it for the treatment of hypermetropia. The eczema laser may become a thing of the past. The femtosecond laser will be able to complete the entire vision correction procedure. A new paradigm has been defined in the field of refractive surgery.